Hi there and welcome to this episode of Perfumery Ingredients. Today we will be looking at frankincense. Now frankincense originates in places like Oman, Yemen, Somalia and Ethiopia. So let's travel there. Here we are. Now to obtain frankincense you would need to locate a tree called the Boswellia tree. This is where frankincense actually comes from. Frankincense is a resin, so the tree is tapped and the resin bled out. It's left to harden into nuggets like you can see in the picture. Now these nuggets are actually called tears, tears of frankincense. Sounds like a good name for a song, doesn't it? Now, frankincense has been traded in the Middle East and places like Somalia for more than 5,000 years. I mean, it's got a such history. Frankincense also received numerous mentions in the New Testament of the Bible after being given as a gift to the infant Jesus by the three wise men. There are three types of species of uh, frankincense, but the main one is Sacra, which is uh, from Oman and Somalia. This is the kind of pride and joy of frankincense uh, collectors. In order to obtain the oil from the frankincense tears, it's steam distilled. Now frankincense, originally it, the nuggets were burned, a little bit like how people burn argar wood, you know, to inhale the fumes, and that's the kind of traditional use for it. Now, of course, you know, that's, that still happens in the sort of Middle East a lot more than it would in the Western world. In the Western world, we tend to use the oils. Now, when the oils have been extracted, they can be used in a number of different ways and not just for burning as an incense. Now, the most common use for frankincense oil has to be, you, it's used as a massage oil in the sort of common practice of aromatherapy. Some of its alleged benefits in aromatherapy include helping relieve chronic stress, anxiety, inflammation and also boosting the immune system. Now that gets a thumbs up from Len. Now another big use is within the perfume industry and usually found within the base of a perfume. Although incense tends to be associated with heavy dark fragrances, it's actually um, a common note in fresh sort of citrus and green fragrances as well. It's very versatile depending on how it's blended. It contains both cold and warm notes, a citrusy, peppery top note and a dark balsamic finish. Darker oriental fragrances, frankincense oil lends a soft glow when blended with things like vanilla and patchouli. Here's a good example of patchouli used in a fragrance. Well, that just ends this short introduction into frankincense. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. And as always, please subscribe.